These four forms of energy I've represented in this project are but a few of the potentially harnessable energies that exist in our universe, some of which we are aware of, others which we are not. Here, I am depicting the sun in all of its colorful radiance and glory as one of the many mysterious objects within our universe capable of producing more energy than we can even comprehend. The sun itself generates more energy in one day than every human being that has ever lived has consumed. The amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface is so vast that in one year it is roughly twice as much as will ever be obtained from all of the Earth's non-renewable resources of coal, oil, natural gas, and mined uranium combined. Water covers over 70% of the Earth's surface and is vital for all known forms of life. We use its fluid motion combined with gravity to spin turbines which harness power. In this piece, I'm highlighting interlacing currents, since as long as the Earth is spinning, there will always be continuously flowing currents. Water exists all throughout our universe in various forms and amounts that we have yet to discover. The space between everything is in a constant state of movement. Often we perceive that motion of air in the form of wind. Usually considered an invisible force, this form of energy may seem lesser than others until you consider things like hurricanes. Then consider Jupiter. Then consider the wind of outer space itself. In 2011, about 3% of the world's power comes from wind. In theory, if one wind turbine was built per square mile on 10% of the Earth's surface, the collective would produce over five times the amount of energy we presently use globally. This is currently by far our most prevalent and widely consumed form of power. All things that burn, which we harness energy from, are considered fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and natural gas. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources because they take millions of years to form, and reserves are being depleted much faster than new ones are being made. This form of energy is also very dirty and pollutes everything from the Earth to all of its inhabitants. There are cleaner forms of earthly heat power, such as geothermal.